So Aaron Judge was in a battle for his 61st home run of the season. He seemed to be stuck on 60 for a while. Yeah, stuck. I hate it when I'm stuck on 60 home runs. So why why was that the case? Well, I think several reasons. Um, he was missing some hittable pitches, as we'll see in this uh, in this clip in just a minute. He was he's been missing some hittable pitches. Uh, he's been getting a ton of walks. We'll come back to that in a minute. But I think he was. They may say um, he's not pressing, but and he may say that too. But I think he's trying a little bit uh, too hard at times. There's ball one right there. Whenever you're trying. And, oh, ball two. We'll come back to that in just a second. Ball, no, there's a good pitch to hit right there. He fouls it off, took a good rip at it. Nice strike by the by the pitcher right there. A little bit on the low side. That one's definitely low. Are they going to give him anything to hit here on a good count? Uh, no. So there is another walk for, uh, for Aaron Judge. And that is 12 walks since hitting. Uh, number 60 since hitting his 60th home run 12 walks so what about trying well when you get into that trying mode any player really your ego thinking mind has started to take over and is trying to make it happen and that precludes your play what I call your playing self from just playing so what we want to do is quiet that thinking playing mind and and um or rather thinking the thinking mind, the ego mind that wants to tell us how to do things and let our playing selves play. And of course, that's what happened on this swing, which represented number 61 as he gets a good look at it there. Is it going to be out? He was wondering. It was number 61 for Aaron Judge. Look at the trajectory of that ball. Wow. So 12 walks since hitting 60 in the last 52 games he had walked 56 times a 548 on base percentage since hitting his 60th home run and we'll look at all 60 right here we saw 61 but the walks he's walked four times on tuesday's game he walked four times in five plate appearances going to a full count in all five that right there to me for Aaron judge says a lot about him and his mental game and his game approach. Yes. He's putting up big numbers, huge numbers for himself. He should be the MVP this year, but he is focused on his team and what he can do for his team. That's what's most important to Aaron. And that is evident in those, all those walks where he was going to a full count. He went to a full count so he's battling and he's taking pitches he won't chase. That's one of the reasons why uh, there was that delay from 60 to 61. He just refused to chase. I love that when he was interviewed after the game, the reporter asked him, were you as calm as you, uh, as you looked up there? And let me say this about the mental game. If you do appear calm, even though you might not be in your head or you might not be feeling calm, if you appear calm to everybody else, you're doing it right. You're doing it right. And Aaron, yes, he looked calm. I loved what Judge said. He said, hey, I'm playing a kid's game here. What perspective this kid has. I'm playing a kid's game is what he said. He said, anything I can do to help us win, I'll take four walks every day. Well, he did He uh, he did take a walk in his first at bat last night. But in the seventh inning, he let it rip for number 61. We'll go back and take a look at it again one more time as soon as we hit. Here's 58, 59, and 60 for Aaron Judge. And then, of course, number 61 coming right coming after this. Again, the first at bat of the game. Just look at his discipline. He's, he's not trying to do um, what his team – doesn't need him to do they need don't they don't need him to press and he takes that walk he's he's not chasing pitches refusing to chase and taking all of those walks a few times maybe trying too hard but he got it done there it is number 61 for Aaron Judge
I think he's the MVP. What do you guys think? Give your opinion on whether he should be the MVP in the comments below.